name is Dale Logan. I'm the sales and uh, technical support for Bago USA. I'm here in Cologne uh, helping our uh, comrades here in Germany uh, host their, our new 3D printer. Very exciting times. Uh, if you want to pan around and see what kind of activity is going on, uh, a lot of interest in it. It's one of the uh, I'm going to go through a little quick, uh, it's a very user friendly machine for the laboratory, it's got a, a unlocking mechanism, it, there's only one way in, one way out, it's, uh, it's resin light cured material, so the light inside is designed for about 20,000 prints minimum, you could get a lot more of those, okay? So, it slides into a shaft area like so, locks into place here, has a shaft that locks as well there. This encases it to the point where um, you're, you're always lined up with the light so you have a proper print every time. Okay. Also, as you can see, this is a clear container. Uh, usually it's a closed container, so less light, less distortion. Okay, that's one positive about this compared to others on the market. I'm going to unlock it, release it, slide it out. This is going to, this right here is the printing platform in this area. Depending on, we have eight different applications. Uh, you could do surgical splints, orthodontic splints, dentures, bases, uh, as well as models, partial dentures, um, PDMMAs, as well as crown and bridge copings. There's another added feature here you won't see. Usually in, in most 3D printers, they use a scraper or a spatula to apply it off the, the base. They, Bago was put their thought process into it and put a key release on, on the base. That way it's an even release so less distortion there as well. The other added feature is that this it's encased in, the, in a dark container so there's less distortion there. So more precision fit as well. Bago really put a lot of thought into this when they designed it. So it locks into place again, like this. You close it. Once you close the once you close the door, you have options of having U USB sticks for each application, or you can have it wired straight into your uh, scanner, so you can just send as an SDL file directly to the machine it's itself. Uh, once everything is loaded into place, you just hit a start button, it reads the, the application, and starts printing. This machine is very the, the print is from 50 microns up to 100 microns. Uh, 22 millimeters of print per hour. So you do your calculations on, on the height. You could do a vertical print as well as a horizontal print. 